rehabbing this property, making it look the same way. This is just a tremendous amount of time wasted. Now, you have the three main things that are important for you to consider. Another thing that you guys have to always factor in is obviously we have neighborhood slash location, right? We have our year build and we have a square footage. Now, when we're looking for comps, we're always looking for something that has been retail ready, right? So if you have now Zillow, Propream, or the MLS, whatever website or tool you guys are utilizing to determine property values, you will have a various amount of comps accessible for you guys to review and determine which one to utilize. One thing is if you're looking to analyze a future retail retail market of a property that will need renovation, you have to look for something that has sold at great market conditions. Are we looking for something that is sexy, that is updated, renovated, that is up to standard to modern standards? Usually you will quickly see stuff that just looks really, really good. Somebody has rehabbed it and it's moving ready, it's retail ready, eventually has been staged. You're looking for those kind of properties because this is what you need to determine what is the actual retail value because in ideal theory, you're going in rehabbing this property, making it look the same way. Now, obviously, if you have a comp in your area that looks a certain way, like how you're trying to target your property to look like, you will send that property as a comp to whatever rehab team that you guys will use and basically tell them, guys, hey, you guys will go into this property. Please make me a bid on how much it will cost to rehab this, piece, this particular piece of property. And this is the kind of rehab I'm looking for, right? Because if they don't have any vision of what kind of finishes you are you're targeting, they might overcharge you or they might just come with a completely different budget. So it's always important, you know, when you have your comp, and a property makes sense to send those comps also to your rehab team so they understand what are the kind of finishes you're looking for and therefore they can nail their budget closer to where it's actually going to be get your property to the value that you're assessing. Now, once you have determined those criteria and you've determined your properties that are retail ready, right? Retail ready properties, you'll be able to now figure out the value of your property. Now, what we usually do is you will have maybe two or three comps that are fitting those criteria and then fit your needs and you will discount them or you will divide them basically the price divided the square footage to come up with like two or three different price per square footage. You then take them, you average them out, and then you multiply them to whatever square footage you have to determine what is the ARV, the after repair value of your particular property. Now, sometimes you will come across some things like homes might have an additional bedroom or have a garage or have a pool. And you will have to factor this into your analysis as well, because that is some sort of value add that your property might not have. So if your comparable has, and this is something we use here, in our Tampa market, if you are in a different market, talk to some contractors, talk to some realtors to understand what's the value that you know a bedroom, a bathroom, or a garage will bring to the table. For us, we have discovered that you know for our price point at least, in the around four hundred thousand dollar ARVs, an additional bedroom usually adds ten thousand dollars, an additional bathroom adds around fifteen thousand dollars, and a garage adds between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars depending on the size. And pools usually add around twenty to twenty five thousand dollars in value. Obviously, a pool costs more than the value values added. So if you're doing any kind of rehabs, don't waste time putting pools in there because the appraised value will not be the same than it actually cost you guys put the pool in. And it's just a tremendous amount of time wasted. So be efficient in and out. But cycling back, if your property has an ARV of $350,000 and you use it as a comp, but it has an additional bedroom, you're just discounting it by $10,000 or an additional bathroom by $15,000. And then take this ARV divided by the square footage to come up with the square footage that you put the price per square footage that you will use recalculate the ARV for your particular property. So it's tremendously important to look at all the factors. And what I've just given you guys is how appraisers look at properties, right? So if you're thinking like an appraiser, you'll make educated decisions because you're not slipping through certain things, right? You're not taking it, you're not forgetting about taking a discount because there's an extra bathroom because that is tremendously important. Now, if most of your comps have an extra bathroom, you might go in and actually add a bathroom to your property. So this will be something you could mention to the rehab team to get bids on like, hey guys, we have a lot of space in here? What if we add an additional bathroom to increase the value? As long as that costs you less than $15,000 and adds more value to your property, you'll be able to do it. So definitely take those things into consideration. But that is the big picture on how you guys find the ARV of your property.